The necessary work developing the next generation of non-hormonal, reversible male contraception is ongoing, and it is likely to be years before the first of these methods is available. In the meantime, it is important that people understand what male contraception options are available. Limited as they are, they at least provide opportunities for both parties to contribute towards family planning objectives, so it is vital that people understand them adequately and fully. Male condom. A male condom is a thin sheath placed over an erect penis. It is a barrier method of contraception in that it is a contraceptive device which prevents live sperm from reaching and thereby fertilizing an egg. When used properly, male condoms are an effective way to prevent pregnancy. With proper use, and use at every act of intercourse, women whose partners use male condoms experience a 2% per year pregnancy rate. However, with typical use, the rate of pregnancy is 18% per year. Vasectomy. A vasectomy is a surgical procedure for male sterilization, or permanent contraception. During the procedure, the male vas deferens is cut and tied, cauterized, or otherwise sealed in order to prevent sperm from entering into the female reproductive tract during sexual intercourse and thereby preventing fertilization. Vasectomies are usually performed in a physician's office or medical clinic. Hospitalization is not normally required as the procedure is not complicated, the incisions are small, and the necessary equipment routinely available. In fact, due to the relative simplicity of the surgery, a vasectomy usually takes less than a half an hour to complete. After a brief recovery at the doctor's office, around an hour, the patient is sent home to rest. Men are usually counseled and advised to consider how the long-term outcome of a vasectomy might affect them both emotionally and physically as the procedure is considered a permanent method of contraception and is not easily reversed. The procedure is often discouraged for young, single, childless men as their chances for biological parenthood are more or less permanently reduced to almost zero. They need to determine their own comfort in possibly wanting to conceive a child with a partner or not. Withdrawal. The withdrawal method of contraception is the practice of removing the penis from the vagina and away from a woman's external genitals before ejaculation during sexual intercourse in an effort to prevent pregnancy. The goal of the withdrawal method, also colloquially known as pulling out, is to prevent sperm from entering the female reproductive tract. The withdrawal method is not recommended as it does not offer STI protection and it isn't effective at preventing pregnancy with respect to other forms of birth control. Consider this. It is estimated that one in five couples, 20%, who practice the withdrawal method for one year will experience a pregnancy. Unfortunately, this is all we have to work with as the research and development activities necessary to bring new methods to market continue. We encourage everyone to get involved in advocating for new methods of male contraception, in supporting the organizations working to make them a reality, and in talking to friends and family about birth control. These actions can help catalyze accelerated progress in developing the next generation of contraception. For more information, please visit malecontraceptive.org.